Hey guys, welcome to Content Commentary. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Nick Newton. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Hi. We're gonna go through your comments all throughout the week and we comment on. Oh, but first, we have a new Facebook banner photo by the name of Kaylee Hahn. Kaylee Hahn. Yay, Kaylee. Looking good, Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee. Looking good, girl. Yeah. And uh, in honor of all of the photos that are not the banner photo, we are going to do a rap montage. Steve, take it away. Lee sure. and I will handle the beat. <laughs> Yo, these are some pictures, and they also some pictures of people from all over the world getting on down. <laughs> Twirly whirl, turn it around and flip it and slap it. Smell it too, don't give it a crack. I hope we have enough pictures. Yeah. Amazing uh, before we go on too, I want you all to know, I want you guys to know on the couch, I want everyone at home to know, Nicole, one of the interns here, made some delicious cookies for us. Mm. I wanted to share some with you guys. Uh, you guys. Oh, so Thank Elliot, you. and also for you guys at home, if you wait about five minutes and then open your CD-ROM drive, there will be a delicious cookie in there, fresh oh, baked. You can so open it before, it won't be fully done, uh -uh. but if yeah. you're like depressed or whatever, you can have a little cookie dough, it'll be good. No mm -hmm. problem. How sad would you be if you were depressed and you opened your CD-ROM and there was no yeah. cookie, but then you'd just be gullible and that should make you even more depressed. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if your CD-ROM could make food? This is the most and high conversation I've ever like, had. Sony Disney team up to fight piracy. Uh, Steve oh, took the God. reins on this. It was mm -hmm. a pretty great video. Thank you. Um, and we asked you guys, what do you think about the movie uh, theater going in your home versus like actually going to the th uh, theaters and will it stop piracy? And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I butchered that question. What are mm -hmm. your thoughts? I think I, for certain things, I love it because mm -hmm. I want to be at so like Monsters University. Like if I go yeah. to the theater, there's gonna be kids screaming and in the theater. Steve hates That's nothing such a great more point. than kids. You know, That's and it's so like, true. I went and saw Wreck It Ralph by myself, not a movie to go see by yourself no. because you're a dude. Uh, well, I mean, as if you man, are, and then you go there, man. and there's children everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. For one, yeah. you feel weird, and yeah. for two, they just laugh at the most unfunny parts. Yeah, and yeah. You don't laugh at the really funny parts. Plebeian Society says I pirated this show. Wait, but it's free. Oh, wait, hold on. Evan Mugford said, might put theaters out of business. No effect on piracy, though, lol, except we have a new class uh, named S-RIP stream or something like that. It would never put a movie theater out of business because who no. in their right mind of a big blockbuster movies coming out wants to watch it on a tiny screen? And your exactly, screen, no matter point. how yeah. big it is, is tiny compared to that giant screen. That's yeah. a classic human experience. Uh, also, it's like birth. Yeah, exactly. But and you the, have to do it at some point. And the other thing is, is like, you meet a nice lady or a nice young boy or whatever, what have you, and you want to get out of the house and you want to take that lady out to a movie and be in a dark room so you could put your arm around her, maybe put your tongue in her mouth, something like that. You can't do that at home when mom and dad are there. You can't do that with weird Uncle Joe well, sitting on the couch. It's also not just that people are at the home, it's also that that's super creepy on a it's first really date creepy. to be like, oh, well, we're gonna get dinner, I mean, we're gonna order a pizza, uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna see to a movie, house. it's my living room, um, don't ask any questions. Ugh. Your mom's sitting right there. Is this okay? Oh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I do understand she's looking right at us. It's really weird. Am I the okay. mom in this scenario? <laughs> <laughs> So we talked about 10 weird jobs that pay super well, and the mm -hmm. question was, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Oh God, I'm still trying to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, me too. Do you feel like you're still trying to figure that no, out? No, I want to be like an actor and a writer. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's fair. I have no more. Oh. Yeah, you guys should take an aptitude test or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous and I said, well, I'm currently on my way to becoming a lawyer. That's how every lawyer <laughs> talks about their job. I'm currently on my way. Wait, you missed the second part of that. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. Oh, wow, I did, you're right. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you want, I can read it, Elliot. That's gross. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, the second part is, so yeah, early on I decided I was a c and Beep. just went along no, with missed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's great, because he's saying that all lawyers are like the C word. But Good job. OEU File Platable said, yep, mess that up. Uh, said, I want to be Joe Beretta when I grow up. Oh. You know, um, it's so funny. What well, would be even better than being Joe Beretta when you grow up? Is being uh, Steve Zaragoza. Would be yeah, Steve Zaragoza. That'd be great. And even yeah. better than just think Steve about it. Zaragoza. Being Newton. <laughs> this guy. And even better than Philip DeFranco. Yeah, Philip DeFranco, yeah. 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 sure. And even better than yeah. Philip DeFranco. Yeah. Yeah. Philip DeFranco. Yeah. 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 Philip DeFranco. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to drown. That's such a sad statement. It's like, I am such a whimsical doomed way. to drown. <laughs> yeah. It is sad because there's a lot of people sad. that live there. Yeah, mm -hmm. fact. But it's yeah, not but it's sad because it's going to take forever. It's going to take forever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know if your kids' kids will be affected. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, we asked you guys, what would you do if you knew your city would slowly drown in the next few decades? <laughs> a lighthearted discussion. RJ Bend zero one says, I would try to watch Waterworld in its entirety for survival tactics. Makes sense. So it's actually really pee. a very good movie. Orange Sale 2 said, I would put aside money and start a fundraiser to revamp and or add seawalls. I think people would be willing to spend a couple thousand dollars to prevent millions or billions of dollars worth of damage. I think you just said seawalls like you meant sea lions. No, I mean You're like, sea sea adorable seawalls. Sea sea walls. They're adorable. <laughs> <Samantha>. <laughs> Infrastructure. Wow. Static Shadows said, "I would learn to swim." A good call. Static yeah. Shadows. Why yeah. don't they? Why don't we just abandon Miami? Okay. And just you know, because it's going under anyway, and just right. move to somewhere on higher ground. Let's just abandon Florida. Florida, where's that? Yeah. It's my home, and I. It's cool, but well, it's like it's, we've all you had know to suffer, Al. Can I tell you something? I have a good comparison. The hospital I was born in is no longer there. Oh, that's a great. Oh, really? Comparison. Yeah. That's sad, dude. Yeah. The, I, I can't go visit it and be like, "This is where I was yeah. born." I mean, I would you have done that if it had been up? Would you ever go to the Probably hospital? Probably not. It's no. nice to know, though, isn't it? Who? Just me, Leslie, says, wear arm floaties all the time, er day. <laughs> er day. Er day. Er day is one of my favorite words. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, I think this is the first time I've seen it spelled out. You have uh, been working at Red Lobster er day since <laughs> yeah. This is what's happening in the English language. Um, According to the police report, you were hella mad. Uh, <laughs> John W.J. said, I would start raising an army of dolphins. Watch me conquer my drowned city on the back of laser shooting dolphins. Uh, it's a good plan, except for the fact that dolphins are super smart and they'll thwart you probably. Yeah. Because they'll and probably be coming up with a plan yeah. while you're coming. People don't you know this, but dolphins are assholes. Dolphins are dicks. Mm -hmm. Did you know that dolphins are also the only other mammals that have sex for pleasure? I don't believe that because I worked in an animal hospital and we used to have to artificially inseminate uh, various uh uh, dogs, and there was this one bulldog. In order to do that, you have to get the stuff from the male to get him female. And he seemed to really enjoy it. What do you mean by that? Like, how did he? What did he do that seemed like he was, was enjoying it's it? It's a pretty easy thing. Just the doctor did the reached in and stimulated him. And he, what he made was, you think he was enjoying it though? Uh, he panted loudly and gyrated very uh, in a very animated fashion. And then it was collected. Why would you ever leave that job? <laughs> <laughs> One star, six planets, three super earths, super space! Earth. Uh, <laughs> the question we asked you guys about that was, uh, what would you name these three planets and why? And why? Michael Harold said, Lee equals great scenery, Phil equals the party planet for awkward people, and Steve equals the planet with the beard. Okay. So it's like Lee, cool Phil, planet. and Steve. Those are nice planets. Those are nice names. Sure, I'm down. Planets. Yeah, those Says. are great names. Mm. Yeah, hey, aren't they, Elliot? It's Sorry, okay there weren't it. four. If there were four, four it'd be like Joe Yeah. Right? But if there were five, it'd be Norg. Norg, for sure. Six would be Sam, Sam probably. Yeah, Sam, like, likely. everyone loves Sam. He's like the Doctor Who style. If they were, yeah. like, one of them had Oh, we got Trisha also. Yeah, and we could do seven uh, and Meg and Meg eight. would be in there, yeah. I could name species. Me too, my orbit Steve too, yeah. I like orbit. Yeah, I like that one. You have a little beard, too. I'm a person. Oh, hey, Hi, Elliot. How long have you been there? Rebs7 said, I would name them Earth 1, Earth 2, Earth 3 because imagination. <laughs> Your crazy girlfriend said, I don't care what they're called as long as one is a pirate planet. Yar! Lord Burnshire stated, Earth 2, Earth Harder, <laughs> Earth 3 Origins, and Earth Redemption. <laughs> what about <laughs> Earth <laughs> Night Rises? What about um, Hook? <laughs> Elliot, I don't... Hook? This is my favorite movie. Second favorite. What's your, what's your first? Who framed Roger Rabbit? So Earth framed Roger Rabbit. So if the movie is like Close Encounters of the Third Kind... You it just replace one it, word in there with yeah. that. So you'd call it like Close Encounters of the Third Kind Earth. I don't know how we help it. It's him. weird. It's like beyond weird. His favorite movie is... It's adorable. It's adorable. It's precious. Best one. Like that's like a child's mind. Yeah, yeah you it, know? Is, it is. When you realize like Hook and Who Framed Roger Rabbit, oh, two very great movies. Yeah. If you're nine. Yeah, if you're a kid. They hold that. Also, I hear there's Pop Tarts in the kitchen. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> sure we Don't go. tell him. Do you guys say there's Pop Tarts in the kitchen? Guys, that 
is it for common commentary. Thank you so much for joining us on this summer, beautiful summer day. It's been warm out here. It's been it's really been a little warm hot. Out yeah, here. it's pretty hot. Yeah. I had yeah, to sleep yeah. with the window open. Uh, Me in too, the, with uh, a fan. In the spirit nice. of not disclosing where we're located, it's the hottest, hottest place you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. so hell. We right live now. in yeah. hell. Just Las stuff. Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. Real bad stuff. What happens here stays here. For and sure. then burns you alive if you step outside. Like, so people. stay tuned for yeah. uh, videos this week here on our channel, youtube.com slash sourcefed. But also there's even more exciting stuff happening with that we're all doing over at youtube.com slash sourcefed nerd. That's yeah. right. We've actually got the new movie thing show. Uh, Meg and Phil saw White House Down. And we've got a movie club going up on Saturday where Trisha and I saw Into the Wild with the guy that goes out into the wild. It's not very smart. If you haven't seen it yet, we've got Versus, uh, where the source-fed guys uh, play against the source-fed girls, a balloon toss, and uh, wh whoever loses has to do a very uh, embarrassing. embarrassing thing. There's yeah. a, the challenge has that kind of aspect, too. It's very really fun. And also, we've got bloopers on Sunday. Cool. And then stay tuned, because we have more exciting stuff coming up next week. And my name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Don't forget to go to formingbills.com and buy a post that says SourceFed on it. You can decorate your walls with it. You can also go to formingbills.com and buy a bunch of SourceFed shirts and you can advertise this to the people who are like, hey, what is that? And you'll be like, oh, this is where I get my news. It's super fun. It's like, oh, it's like a comedy news channel on YouTube. You should go check it out. And then they will. And then you guys will be best friends. It'll be something to bond over. Especially dudes who are single, you should buy the shirt. And then when you meet a girl, you'll be like, oh, yeah, SourceFed. And then that could be your first date. I mean, obviously, you want to take it to the cinema first. Maybe be your second date. Then you invite her to your living room. Instead of watching the movie on demand, you watch SourceFed. Just a string of videos. I would recommend starting about six months ago. That's when it gets really fresh and exciting. And then you can see what happens. Take it from there and you have a long lasting relationship. All because we told you to do this at the very end of Common Commentary. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good weekend. You're welcome.